The alveolates is one of the major groups of protists, considered a clade and a superphylum of eukarya called alveolata. Phyla. Within alveolata, there are around nine major and minor phyla, which are very diverse in form, but are now known to be related on various ultrastructural and genetic similarities. Apicomplexa, parasitic protozoa that lack axonemal locomotive structures except in gametes. Ciliates, very common protozoa with many short cilia arranged in rows, and two nuclei. Dinoflagellates, mostly marine flagellates many of which have chloroplasts. Chromaridae, a marine phylum of photosynthetic protozoa. Perkinsisa, Colpidella, Vorominas, Acavarmanidia. Colponmidia, Acavarmanidia and Colponmidia were previously grouped together as Colponmids, a taxon now split based on ultrastructural analysis. Acavarmanidia is closer to the dinoflagellate Perkinside group than Colponmidia is. Characteristics The most notable shared characteristic is the presence of cortical alveoli, flattened vesicles packed into a continuous layer supporting the membrane, typically forming a flexible pellicle. In dinoflagellates they often form armor plates. Alveolates have mitochondria with tubular crista and the flagella or cilia have a distinct structure. The ancestors of this group may have been photosynthetic. Almost all sequenced mitochondrial genomes of ciliates and apicomplexia are linear. The mitochondrial genome of Babesia microti is circular. This species is also now known not to belong to either of the genera Babesia or Theolaria and a new genus will have to be created for it. Classification The apicomplexa and dinoflagellates may be more closely related to each other than to the ciliates. Both have plastids, and most share a bundle or cone of microtubules at the top of the cell. In apicomplexans this forms part of a complex used to enter host cells. While in some colorless dinoflagellates it forms a peduncle used to ingest prey. Various other genera are closely related to these two groups, mostly flagellates with a similar apical structure. These include free living members in Oxyrhiz and Colponma, and parasites in Perkinsus, Parvoluciferae, Rastromonas, and the Elebiopsides. In 2001, direct amplification of the rRNA gene in marine picoplankton samples revealed the presence of two novel alveolate lineages, called group 1 and 2. Group 1 has no cultivated relatives, while group 2 is related to the dinoflagellate parasite Amoebophria, which was classified until now in the Cyndineales dinoflagellate order. Relationships between some of these the major groups were suggested during the 1980s, and a specific relationship between all three was confirmed in the early 1990s by genetic studies, most notably by Gajad Rayal. Cavalier Smith, introduced the formal name Alveolata in 1991, although at the time he actually considered the grouping to be a paraphyletic assemblage, rather than a monophyletic group. Some studies suggested the haplosporids, mostly parasites of marine invertebrates, might belong here but they lack alveoli and are now placed among the circusa. Development the development of plastids among the alveolates is intriguing. Cavalier Smith proposed the alveolates developed from a chloroplast containing ancestor, which also gave rise to the chromostar. Other researchers have speculated that the alveolates originally lacked plastids and possibly the dinoflagellates and apicomplexa acquired them separately. However, it now appears that the alveolates, the dinoflagellates, the chromaridae and the heterocoalgae acquired their plastids from a red algae with evidence of a common origin of this organelle in all these four clades. Evolution The alveolata consist of mysosa, ciliates, and colponmids. It seems likely that the common ancestor of the mysozoa was a mysocytotic predator with two heterodynamic flagella, micropores, trichocysts. Rock trees, microneems, a polar ring, and a coiled open sided conoid. The common ancestor of mysis are ciliates, and colponmids may also have possessed some of these characteristics. 
but it has been argued that myositosis was not one of these characteristics. The informal term colponemids, as it stands currently, covers two non-sister groups within alveolata, the Acavarmanidae and the Colponemidae. The ancestral alveolate probably possessed a plastid, chromerids, apicomplexans, and peridinine dinoflagellates have retained this organelle. Going one step even further back, the chromerids, the peridinine dinoflagellates and the heterocoalgae possess a monophyletic plastid lineage in common, i.e., acquired their plastids from a red alga, and so it seems likely that the common ancestor of avulates and heteroco was also photosynthetic.